As you can see here, I'm getting shot. Um, no, that's because I'm actually Friendship wanted, so I'm just going to try and get out of here now. Um, it's going to take a long time. We're going to go to systems. Now turn up. So what is going on guys, welcome to a video on Elite Dangerous. Today we're going to show you how to start off in Elite Dangerous and how to get money and, you know, get a better ship. I'm going to start from the ground though, I'm going to start from the Sidewinder, what you start with when you start the actual game. So here I'm in my Sidewinder, I'm actually using the uh, Mad Cats, I think it is Mad Cats, um... A joystick to actually fly this ship so if I'm a bit bad then you know why because it's really sensitive but anyway we're gonna start from the bottom so I'm in my sidewind I'm just gonna quickly oh I didn't mean to press that we're gonna just quickly go to uh, outfit in but it's gonna go outside anyway so uh, I'm just gonna let it do do its thing we're gonna stand by and what it's gonna do then is go back down and <laughs> anyway so we're gonna keep let this go, keep going, 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 wait, 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 wait. So guys, I'm gonna take you through the in depths and everything like that. I don't know what's going on, it's just saying standby right now. There we go, we're going back down. So I'm gonna start off with this sidewind. Now this is the starting the starting ship that you basically get when you start off uh, on Elite Dangerous. It's not the best and you know, it, it can be a pain in the ass sometimes when you're trying to get to one place and it's like really slow and you know, you don't know how to play the game and you guys are just like, oh, okay, so I have actually got 790k but that is, that's not the point. Uh, we're, this is the ship and this is what we're going to be shooting people in. It's quite self-explanatory. So we're going to exit, uh, we're going to go all the way to our galaxy map and what you want to do is you want to go to your galaxy map and you'll see this here. You should spawn here when you first start. If you don't spawn here you can go to this little thing in the top left of the corner. You can click it and you can type in Cree Main. So when you type in Cree Main you click that as you can see I think I've got a ship there. Uh, exploited, I don't know what that means or that actually means I can't oh, okay right so we go and plan route because uh, you're not going to be able to get your sign winder from here to here so you have to go like up like it's really it's really dumb but we're going to go to here first to uh Potriti. I don't know what that means but um we're going to launch and we're going to get off so I am using the Mad Cats uh I think it's called a Mad Cats if it's not then um I'll tell you the name in the actual I'll, I'll like type it in on the actual chat uh, I'll take a few pictures of it as well to show you guys what it looks like and how it is but we're just gonna throttle off and we're gonna go up right so if you look in the bottom left of your corner uh down here oh i didn't mean to pull out my weapons get weapons back in you see there's like a little circle to the left of your main console screen um that is actually um your where you've got to be heading so when the circle is full you just go down and you should see right there if I turn around for example, hold on a minute, um, I don't know why my guns are still out. So if I turn around, so if I turn around, see the, the circle goes hollow? It means you have to, it's behind you, so you're going to go turn back round and you're going to basically go towards that circle again. We're going to do a quick boost here uh, and we're going to line up with this. So to go into frame shift drive, it should be J on your keyboard or whatever it's keybinding. To me, it's my uh, joystick drive. 7. So I just click the joystick 7 and we should go straight into hypercruise and get there in a matter of seconds. If you guys are wondering, um, you know, what to do, why, why can't I do this, why can't I do that, the game is very confusing at the start and I would really, really recommend going through the tutorials and uh, training and all that stuff because it, it really does help you. It tells you the basics of combat, how to lock onto people in combat, etc. Um, but I do get confused with the buttons sometimes. Um, through you know I, I don't I don't get it I get confused so we're gonna stop here we're gonna if you get too close to the sun you will overheat I'm just gonna say that goes right now so now it should automatically if you press plan route it should tell you where your next objective is which is over here when we get over here we're gonna line up with a uh, cremate and we go straight frame to supercharge drive, again charging. frame shift drive and we're gonna get there in about a year so um, okay maybe not a year now it's gonna be a few hundred days but yeah, it's basic self explanatory. As soon as you learn the keys and everything, you guys will know how to play the game. Oh, yeah, I forgot to crawl up. So 
So once you get here, you'll get to a big sun. And you automatically want to get out of there the sun's, uh, the sun's gravitational pull. So what you want to do is throttle down and you want to go to your console, which is on the left. I swear you can press a button for this. I think it's one. Yep. If you press, if you press one, it goes straight to the thing. And you want to look for Cremain 2. I think I've just seen it there. Yeah. So you want to go to this here, Cremain 2, and you want to press lock destination on it. If you don't know how to do that, you press space. Uh, and it should automatically go then you press one to get out of it and it's literally over there so you just speed up and get to this place you see if you if you look in the bottom right where your throttle is uh, there should also be like a blue bar if you stay on that blue bar it will literally tell you when to decelerate and it will tell you literally everything how to jump out of hyperspace how to jump jump uh, get cl as close as you can get there as fast as you can and if you think you're good enough at doing all this stuff then you can go in a lot faster my cat is not saying i'm a lot great what do you want? So once you get close enough, you will see this pop up on your UI at the right if you press 1. You want a lock destination and you want to go to this res resource extraction site. Now there is a lot of tutorials on YouTube how to get to here. Um, I mean this is not the best self-explanatory one, but it, 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 it does work guys. You will get hundreds of thousands of pounds, but there is a few catches to actually doing this and how, in, how to get the money from your account to like what you've done so see here uh, a bounty in Cremain 3 apparently I've got a bounty on me um, that's not very good uh, I might get shot as soon as I go in there then but if you uh, carry on here you should see a planet with a um, a lot of a lot of uh, circles around it well it's got one of them circles around there's actually one down there to the right if you just seen that but the one right in front of us is where we're going to and it should be, basically it's just, you just follow until you get to it so it says 15 seconds away uh, you want to carry on following your uh, UI you will not overshoot it if you carry on following this thing it's on the opposite side of the uh, planet so I mean that's not it's not the best ever so what we're going to do is we're going to slowly go to the right of this and turn into it so we actually get out of uh, uh into hyperspace out of hyperspace i'm getting losing my words here guys so you start to enter it quite slow because you you bring it into the atmosphere of cremain 2 and once you get there you want to literally just turn until you get basically dead on as soon as it goes hollow the circle again you just want to carry on following the blue line on your uh, your throttle and you will basically get there in the quickest time possible um, I've not found other ways to get there quicker uh, not yet because you get in the atmosphere of Cremain 2 like I just said and uh, it slows you down a lot like at the moment we're going to uh, 500 milliseconds or whatever that means I, I don't have a clue I'm not I'm not a professional at this game it's getting pretty dark around here but uh, you just want to basically head towards it. I'm gonna full throttle now so that if I do miss it then who cares like no yellow okay so as you can see there I actually accidentally uh, <laughs> Uh, I was looking at my uh, other screen then, and now we're going backwards. We don't want to do that. But as you can see, it says like we're 1.1 thingy away, and that's because I actually forgot to throttle down, and it's slow down. If you see the screen there, so we're gonna. It's gonna take us uh, quite a while to get there now after that monstrosity. Right, okay. So now we're getting close here. Um, I don't know where all the rocks are. Normally the rocks appear around now, but I, I don't know what's going on. They're like I think we're in the right place. I'm 100% I'm sure, but I'm gonna get quite close. So if you go, you can guys can extract here and make your way down. Uh, oh, the rocks are really close right now. Why is it so dark? I didn't know the rocks are that close. Bloody hell. Okay, right, we're gonna go back into Hyper's cruise and just get as fast as we can. Engage. Two, one, engage. Oh. So basically, that's all you want to do. It should disengage you automatically. Once you're there, you just want to throttle right up and keep boosting until you get to um, where it actually says resource and extraction site. And if you look into the middle of your actual uh, console, you will see that it's like basically a radar scanner. 
as soon as a white uh, yellow dot shows up on there uh, you want to basically go to your console or press the button which is a target lock which should be T if you haven't changed any of them um, and then it should come to here contract contacts uh, and you want to scan them so you want to press space on them do not fire unless it says wanted and you've scanned them otherwise you will get absolutely owned by the federal uh, police in the area uh, I'm gonna skip to when I find someone and finally you know shoot them down as you can see here I'm getting shot um, now that's because I am actually Friendship wanted so I'm just gonna try and get out of here now um, it's gonna take a long time we're gonna go to systems because uh, uh, this is just absolutely ridiculous. But guys, you basically get the gist of it. You just go to T. I'll try and get a video for you later uh, of me uh, actually killing someone. My systems are nearly offline. Great. I need to get out of here immediately. Come on, go. Just fucking go. Four, three, two, one. Engage. So as you can see there guys, um, basically I'm wanted so what I need to do is I need to go and get unwanted or die or whatever. But it's basically self-explanatory, you just lock onto someone, shoot them and if they have a bounty, the bounty should come up in contacts around here and uh, it should basically tell you I have a 200 credit bounty on me which is not that good so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go and buy myself a new ship and sort everything out and then I'll buy you, uh, I'll see you guys in a bit.